All right, guys, we're driving on the northwest coast of Tasmania on our way to the Tarkine region. This is a vast forested rainforest region, so it's lots of wild lands without roads. Um, we're actually coming up on the turnoff for the town of Malbunna, which is where the last Tasmanian tiger was shot in the 1930s. This is the, one of the was the largest carnivorous marsupial, so it has a pouch just like kangaroo, um, and they grew to like upwards of how many kilograms? The tiger the, the tigers. Uh, they were like up to 50 pounds though, so they were pretty big, like a big dog, um, and they hunted solitarily and they also hunted in packs but they're gone um, there was another one that was trapped in the 30s and died in, the, in, a, in a zoo about that same time um, and then there was a bunch of sightings through the 60s uh, of the Tasmanian tiger that are probably valid but nothing recent although there's lots of them reported they're kind of like Sasquatch um, in a way so, um, people keep thinking they see him. Some people think they're still alive. Sasquatch with a pouch. No, not Sasquatch with a pouch. Do you think they're still alive, Sidra? Are you a believer? I don't know. I mean, I don't know in the interior if there's not a lot of people back in there. It's, but probably not functionally. Functionally, they're probably extinct. I think they're gone. Um, there's been a bunch of projects trying to find them, trail cameras and stuff like that. Um, but they just seem to come up empty every time. They are, uh, the people of Tasmania seem really uh, fond of the tiger though still. Um, it's on their license plate even. It says explore the possibilities. So it's like even the people of Tasmania are unwilling to accept that the tiger's gone. Um, you can still see it's, it's... It's fair to say they probably have some regrets for the past actions. Oh, there's the t there was a turnoff for Malbana, so we just passed it. Um, it's actually open country, so this all used to be rainforest out here, but now it's just wet. In fact, it's your land. Um, but we will be going into some rainforest later today in search of a different critter. Um, you can still see thylacine specimens though. Like they still have mounts and stuff, so you can still... It's kind of weird to be able to go and look at an extinct animal. Fur. And skeleton. And like, see it right there. But, um, you have to go to the museum in Hobart, to the capital of Tasmania, to see that. But we're going after a different critter in the rainforest today. So Tasmania is also home to the world's largest freshwater crayfish. Now these crayfish, um, they actually used to eat them until the 90s, but they started declining because of overharvest and poaching. And um, you can't harvest them anymore, and they've set up protected areas for them. And they grow up to 13 kilograms, that's like 20 pound crayfish. Just crazy. Most don't get that big. I think most of them get like 8 to 10 pounds. So hopefully we can find one today. That's going to be rainy and wet and kind of a tough day for it, but we're going to see if we can find the giant crayfish of the Tarkine. Wish us luck. This is the kind of habitat they live in. They like this fallen timber on these small streams. 
in the Targine. It's a lot of fun hiking through here. I'm just gonna grab him. We found one. Ah. Yeah. Just sit on this log. Can you take that camera point at me? Whoa! So there <laughs> he it went is. for my hand. The giant Tasmanian crayfish. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that monster. He was sitting out on the log just chilling. Yeah, chillin'. I just came over this hill and I saw an antenna go. So I wonder how old he is. I don't know. Better back to our eating and basking. So they feed on detritus, mostly fungus growing on wood. Very cool critter. Massive though. We walked about how much a mile maybe? A stream. Yeah, we could look on our phone. Find her. You can see this. There she goes. There she's getting she was getting turned over there. There she goes. She's crawling underneath the log here. Oh she's hiding? Yeah. Well that was amazing. I, I saw pictures of those things, I kind of didn't really believe that was a real animal. And now that I've seen one, I'm like totally blown away. We weren't really feeling very confident. We'd walked a lot of this river looking for one and I came from downstream down here and I saw some eye of the, the antennae. Um, actually, it was up foraging going over that log downstream there and able to get my hands on it before it slipped into a hole. That was super cool. All right, we're gonna hike out of here and uh, get out of our waders. It's really hot. All right, guys, it's my last night in the mountains in Tasmania before we head to the coast for our final couple days before we head home back to the deep freeze that is the inland Pacific Northwest right now. I'm uh, gonna try a little bit more Tankara browns on the Tiana here. So let's see what we can do here on our last night. The river looks very promising. Give it a shot. Fish on. Nice. And take one. Nice little brown. Nice brown right there, beautiful. On the tin car rod. Look at that. Gorgeous. Chunky brown. There we go. Beautiful. Come back to the water. Very nice.